Hi, I'm Tim. I work at Julia Computing, and today I'll talk about the OneAPI.gl package we've developed to work with Intel GPUs and other OneAPI accelerators in Julia. So most of you will be familiar with Julia and how the language can be successfully used for programming a wide variety of GPUs. OneAPI, however, probably needs some introduction. It's a programming framework and open standard designed by Intel made for programming various hardware accelerators using a unified programming model. So the programming from framework consists of different pieces. There's a C++-based front-end language called Data Parallel C++. There's many libraries with optimized functionality like one MKL and one DNN. There's a bunch of tools, debuggers, profilers, and so on. And finally, most of that sits on top of the level zero libraries which provide low-level access to the hardware. So this is all very interesting, but C++ isn't our favorite language. Uh, for example, this is how you perform a simple vector addition of two arrays in DPC++. You define a vector addition function, of course, you create buffers for your data, then you have to create accessors for the buffers, use a parallel abstraction to perform the addition, and finally submit all of that to a command queue. So this is fairly involved and a low-level way of doing things, and ideally we just want to use something high-level like Julia here. And this is of course where OneAPI.gl comes in. It essentially place, replaces the C++ level of the OneAPI framework with Julia, both for direct kernel programming and for the kind of high-level API-based programming that we're used to in Julia using uh, high-level arrays. For now, we're only supporting Intel GPUs. That includes integrating graphics, which most of you or many of you might have as part of your Intel CPU in your desktop or laptop. So if you do, you can easily try out OneAPI.gl by installing the latest version of Julia, entering the package manager and installing the OneAPI.gl package. Nothing else is needed. Uh, you don't even need a driver. OneAPI.gl will automatically download and install everything we need using Julia's artifact system. Do note that this only supports Linux for now. So the structure of OneAPI.gl is fairly similar to that of other GPU backends. An increasing, increasing level of abstraction, there's first wrappers for the low-level library, level zero. And then there's a programming interface you use to write your own kernels. And finally, there's a user-friendly array abstraction. So let's have a brief look at each of these. At the lowest levels, we have the level zero wrappers. These are part of their own library, uh, their own module, one L0, which you can import after you have imported the one API package. You can use these wrappers to iterate devices, inspect properties, and so on. Whenever possible, we try to raise the abstraction level a bit without sacrificing flexibility. For example, we uh, provide global instances of common objects, so you don't have to instantiate your own queue. Um, we use idiomatic syntax like the two block here, and we also integrate with existing Julia interfaces to provide a familiar experience to Julia programmers. Still, these wrappers are pretty low level and most users won't have to use these capabilities. But we use them to build the other abstractions like the kernel programming interface. If you need to implement a custom kernel, you can use these interfaces. Um, here's an example of the vector addition I showed previously, but now implemented in Julia. There's a couple of noteworthy differences between Julia and C++ to program uh, in one API. For example, we use OpenCL's indexing intrinsics, that's the call to get global ID here. Uh, we also use global semantics. Um, for example, you don't have to create your own command queue, but we'll automatically use a queue that's bound to the current Julia task. And instead of using a parallel abstraction, we're launching a scalar kernel using the at one API macro. And these, these differences are deliberate. We've made them so that programming one API kernels in Julia is fairly similar to programming kernels in other GPU backends like CUDA.gl or AMD GPU.gl, which makes it easier for people who have worked with these packages before to start using one API.gl. 
We also have the same macros you are used to in other GPU pack packages, for example, to inspect generated LLVM IR or to have a look at the generated spur V code. Now, most users won't ever have to write a custom kernel because on top of this native kernel programming functionality, we have created a powerful array abstraction. So instead of writing your own vector addition kernel, you can just use broadcast to add two vectors together. In fact, because OneAPI.gl is built on top of GPU arrays, we already support quite a variety of array operations. For example, we have higher order functionality like broadcast, map, or reduce that composes together with anonymous user functions. There's integration with standard libraries like LinearAlgebra.gl and Statistic.gl, and so on. So all of these operations make it possible to program Intel GPUs in Julia often without having to write a single kernel. And even better, these operations can be written generically, meaning you only use the one array type at the start of your computations. The application itself will be written using generic array operations. The benefit of that is that you can port code that's been written for another GPU backend or even for the CPU by simply changing the input array type. And at the same time, all of these operations are implemented in Julia, which means that they are easy to improve or develop without C++ experience. So in summary, we've created a very user-friendly out-of-the-box experience to program one API accelerators and very easy to get started with using the one array type. If necessary, you can still write your own kernels or even drop down to level zero and do some very low level programming. So I'd really recommend you give one API to gel a go any user feedback is very welcome. Don't hesitate to open an issue if your application or use case isn't supported. That said, there's still a couple of shortcomings. For example, we don't yet integrate with libraries like OneBlast or OneDNN, which means that some fairly essential operations like matrix multiplications are slow. In fact, OneAPI.gl hasn't been optimized for performance yet. We're currently still focusing on implementing missing functionality. And for that, we're looking for people to help us out on. So if you're interested, please get in touch. You can find us on Slack, on Discord, where there's GPU channels and GPU sections. Or we also every two weeks have GPU office hours on Monday, where you're free to bother us with uh, GPU or One API related questions. Thanks for your attention and uh, have some questions now.